and welcome. This is Nasreen Sheikh and you're watching It's Tomorrow News. Ramon weakens into tropical depression. Europe braces for heavy snow and thunderstorm. Rain in Chennai begins. Ramon, also known as Kalmegi, was downgraded from a tropical storm or a tropical depression on late Wednesday morning, November 20, while Sarah intensified from a tropical depression into a tropical storm. In a briefing on Wednesday, the Philippine Atmospheric Geophysical and Astronomical Service Administration said Ramon now has maximum winds of 55 km per hour from the previous 85 km per hour and gustiness of up to 90 km per hour from the previous 140 km per hour. Pagas earlier said Ramon would significantly weaken after making landfall due to land interaction and northeast monsoon. It will eventually become a low-pressure area within 24 hours. Ramon had made landfall as a typhoon in Santa Ana Cagayan at 12.20 a.m. on Wednesday. The tropical depression is now in the vicinity of Roxas Isabella. It slightly accelerated, now moving south-southwest at 20 km per hour from the previous 15 km per hour. With Ramon weakening, there are no more areas under signal number 2, but signal number 1 remains up in several areas. Pagasa added that strong to gale force winds may be experienced in Batens and the Babuan group of islands due to the surge of the northeast monsoon. Thousands of residents fled their homes ahead of Ramon's landfall, fearing possible flash floods and landslides. Severe tropical storm Sara also weakened as it began moving towards Japan's Ryukyu Island before dawn on Friday, November 22. The severe tropical storm is already 345 km northeast of Basco Batans. It is moving north at a slightly faster pace of 20 km per hour from the previous 10 km per hour. Since Sara is moving away, the province of Batans is no longer under signal number 1. Travel also remains risky, especially for some vessels in the seaboards of northern Luzon, particularly the areas below. This is due to the northeast monsoon. Sara did not make landfall in the Philippines, but its tough to extension earlier brought some rain to parts of northern Luzon. The severe tropical storm is expected to leave the Philippine area of responsibility between Friday night and Saturday morning on November 23. It is forecast to gradually weaken as it moves towards the East China Sea in the next two days. Ramon had made landfall as a typhoon in Santa Ana Cagayan at 12.20 a.m. on Wednesday, November 20, then gradually weakened. Meanwhile, heavy snow is forecast to descend upon Europe this winter that is well in excess of what would be expected for this time of year. BBC meteorologists warned of heavy snow and quite intense showers and thunderstorm in the next week. The weather presenter told viewers that orange warnings are in force once again. An orange or umber warning is placed when there is an increased likelihood of impact from severe weather which could potentially disrupt plants. This means there is the possibility of travel delays, road and rail closures, power cuts and the potential risk of life and property. Flooding is anticipated for some parts of Libria but also the south and west of France. Heavy snow will settle over the mountains and more of that pushing up into the Alpine region. There are really quite intense those showers and those thunderstorms fed by the heat coming from the Mediterranean later in the weekend. There will be more snow for the Alpine regions. Looking at the weather in India, Chennai rains are all set to pick up pace with some intense showers likely to drench the set's capital today. Dense clouding can be seen over the city since the early morning hours with rains making an appearance over some parts already. After a prolonged but dry spell, Chennai has been recorded light rains and on daily basis since November 14. However, any significant spell has been missing. Now, northeast monsoon surge has revived and the city has recorded moderate rains during the last 24 hours. These rains can be attributed to a trough running from the Comorian region to south coastal Andhra Pradesh across coastal Tamil Nadu. Thus, moderate rains with few intense spells are expected to drain Chennai during the next 24 hours. 
Thereafter, with this trough becoming insignificant, rains are also likely to subside November 23 onwards. But weather would not go completely dry and isolated light rains would continue over the city. During this time, parts of south coastal Tamil Nadu such as Karaikal and Pamban would continue with some moderate rains but north coastal Tamil Nadu including Chennai would see light rains only. According to weathermen, a fresh surge of monsoon is likely around November 27, wherein we would see moderate rains with few heavy spells over Chennai. It has been disappointing November for Chennai, which is supposed to be the rainiest month for the city. Tamil Nadu, including Chennai, is the main beneficiary for northeast monsoon, which gives over 50% of its annual rainfall. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news, Nasreen Sheikh. For more weather updates like this, do like, share and subscribe our channel.